everybody, and welcome to episode number 98 of 55 and 5. Ian Mercabani, I forgot my name, Carrie Silken, AJ from Basan Creative and Web Design. We're going one card at a time through the 121 card Parker set. I forget my name all the time. I forget what year it is. You have an excuse with the, with multi jobs, children. Poison Ivy. That's why I'm wearing the sweatshirt in the throngs of the heat wave. AJ is staying up till five in the morning working on stuff. Yeah. And I'm lounging around here yeah. forgetting what year it is. Living the good life. Though. Yes. Got the nice nah. pool. Nah, it's all right. These beautiful posters. Uh, and some beautiful cards we're going to talk about. Carrie, today I promised we'd talk about a former NWA world champion. I did warn you, he's one of the oddballs. He's one of the names that time has forgotten. And it's not the National Wrestling Alliance World Championship. Uh-oh. It's the National Wrestling Association, the spinoff of the National Boxing Association, the original NBA. From what ter- from what geographical? Ter- yeah, he won it in, well, uh, in he won Canadian it in Canadian. Texas. He won it in Texas. All right, let's yeah. go. All right, from a Canadian in Texas, no less. So the 1955 Parker set features primarily Canadian wrestlers, but this is a man from the United States. He's a second generation wrestler. Carrie, what can you tell me? I'm going to set five minutes on the clock about Bobby Manigoff. Seen his name mm-hmm. dozens of times. Uh, as far as specifics about him, I really can't name any, except I'm going to, like, this is such a tough guess, but I'm going to guess he had a uh, 25 year career yeah. at least. 30. Yeah. And uh, traveled the world. And uh, he was a solid name. And once again, if he did win that belt, um, good for him. It was mm-hmm. under the radar belt, but I certainly know the name. And uh, why don't you tell me some more about him, please? Sure. Yeah, he's uh, he's kind of one of the those guys that uh, like Wild Bill Longson that people forget held the version of the world title. Uh, he was a second generation wrestler. His his father was named Bobby Monograph, which I believe Monograph's a type of early record, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, his claim to fame, his father's claim to fame, was he broke Frank Gotch's leg. Wow! In a match, yeah. So he must have been a shooter. Watch your back after that, right? <laughs> um, he's a former National Wrestling Association champion. That's the offshoot of the National Boxing Association. Before there was a National Wrestling Alliance, uh, the title was later absorbed and the lineage absorbed into the National Wrestling Alliance title. So that they've adopted that lineage in some ways. On November twenty seventh, nineteen forty two, he defeated Yvonne Robert for the title in Houston. So this is one of the recognized world titles. He's from Chicago, but he was a huge staple in Texas. He drew really big box office crowds with a young Buddy Rogers. as Buddy okay. was breaking in in Texas, and they had some good matches that, that led to some big crowds. And uh, he later tore Hawaii. He was a five-time Montreal world champion, which we've talked about, Killer Kowalski holding that belt and so on. Uh, he feuded with Pat O'Connor, uh, Kowalski, Buddy Rogers, and others for the title. He's a a multi-time Hall of Famer. So he's in the Luthez Hall of Fame in the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum Hall of Fame. And uh, interesting to note, his sister might have been even more famous than he was. Really? As a wrestler? As a singer. Okay. His sister was a woman named Kay Arman who had some some radio hits. And I... Solo star or was she part of a group? Solo star. Okay. And uh, 40s and 50s. So... I don't know that name. Yeah, she would. She cracked the uh, the early charts, but it would be it would be a name that we like asking about uh, the honeycombs right. these days. It's you know, yeah, they did one ads, but no one remembers that. Well, <laughs> that's a lot. One of the many reasons this is good to do, and we've stated this dozens of times, that it keeps these names out there, mm-hmm. including Manigat's sister, right, who is it. <laughs> A top 10 recording star of her era. Of her day, yeah. So uh, what was her name again? Kay Arman. So God bless Kay yeah. Arman. Let her name be loud and clear. <laughs> Absolutely. And let, let Bobby Manigoff's name ring loud and clear. It's interesting. He's the one in the red. He was always in great physical condition. I believe that's Vladik Kowalski on the, in the green, I if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think. As in Killer? I, I, uh, Vladik was a different wrestler. Vla- okay. The WL. Was, was it Waldick Kowalski? Yes. So, okay. Well, that was good. Number 98, at least I knew a little. 
A little bit, so yeah. Hopefully, on ninety nine, I'll continue my. I, I, I consider this a hot streak. Yeah, I got. I think I got some bad news for. Oh no. right. we, we have somebody that it barely existed. Okay, <laughs> number nine. So that's your hint for tomorrow. All's fair. All's fair in love and nineteen fifty five wrestling cards. Well, we want to thank you so much for joining us on number ninety eight. We are trucking along to one twenty one. That's the magic number. That's the magic goal. And we hope you join us tomorrow for number 99. We're going to party like it's 1999 here on 55 and 5. Thanks for watching, everybody.